Good evening mga kapatid, kumusta po kayong lahat? Prayer ko po na nawa lahat ay safe at nasa mabuting kalagayan matapos ang nakaraang bagyo. So ngayon po nais ko pong maghandog ng isang uh, short exhortation para sa ating lahat. Simulan po natin sa isang maiksing panalangin. <clears throat> oh Lord, our Father, Lord, we believe in you. Lord, you are the God of gods, the King of kings. You are almighty Father, powerful, King of kings, Lord God. Lord, we believe, Lord, that uh, prayer has power, Lord God, and that you have power. Lord, malapit po kami sa inyo at humihingi po kami ng kalinisan, kapatawaran sa lahat po ng aming mga kasalanan. Kung may nakikita po kayong karumihan sa aming puso, Lord God, mga bagay na hindi kaaya-aya. Lord, pakalinisan niyo, po, pakalinisan niyo po kami. Lord, convict us with the Holy Spirit, Lord God, so that we can continue to change for you, Lord God. And Lord, we lay all our burdens upon you, Lord God, our weaknesses, Lord Father, in our everyday lives, Lord. And as we uh, study your word, we listen to your to your word, Lord God. Nawa, Lord, ay tumanim ang lahat, Lord, sa aming puso, isipan, Lord, at nang maipamuhay namin ang inyong mga salita. Lord, we just commit to you the remaining time of uh, tonight, Lord God. In Jesus' name, Amen. So, para po sa ating pag-aaral ngayong gabi, nais ko pong i-share ang isang topic about um, God's promises in connection with praying or prayer. Alam naman po nating lahat na ang Biblia ay naglalaman ng mga bagay na importante para sa ating uh, Araw-araw na pamumuhay bilang mga mananampalataya. The Bible contains uh, not only God's promises, pero maging mga bagay na kailangan nating sundin habang tayo ay namumuhay as His servants. So, God has spoken many things concerning us. Whenever we are reading the Bible, mga kapatid, isa sa mga bagay na nais nating malaman ay ang mga pangako na binigay ng Diyos para sa atin. These promises are God's commitment to the believer. So, however, mga kapatid, ang mga pangakong ito ay kumakatawan din ng hangganan. Ito siguro yung bagay na hindi alam ng marami sa atin. At ito ay bagay na... Um, Pasasabi kong bagong kaalaman din para sa akin. These promises also represent the boundary of God's commitment. God is almighty. God is all-powerful. All-powerful. But the system of administering His love and His power is with respect to the provisions, mga kapatid, that scripture has allowed. So, that is the truth. Kung ano lamang po ang nasa Biblia at mga pangakong binitawan ng Diyos, kung ano ang hangganan nito, ito lamang din po ang um, <clears throat> mangyayari according sa salita ng Panginoon. So, all things can come to pass because God is powerful. God can do many things, but the operation of Jesus Christ as revealed from scripture is based only on the truth of the scripture. So that means mga kapatid, if we want to know how far God can go over our lives, kung gusto natin malaman, uh, ang plano ng Diyos sa ating buhay, malalaman lamang po natin yun sa Biblia. Find what He has said in the Bible. So, especially, um, kapag po tayo mananampalataya ay may mga prayer requests, that is why reading the Bible is essential to every believer. Because we as human beings have desires and offer prayer requests as we go along this life. But the truth is, God is only committed to what He has said. 
not what I want, not what you want, not plainly what, not what we all desire. But He will only be committed, mga kapatid, <clears throat> to what you want if what you want is consistent or in, according, in accordance to what He has said in His Word. So mga kapatid, let's look at Genesis chapter 21 verses 1 to 2 if you have your Bibles with you. The Word of God said, The Lord visited Sarah as he had said. And the Lord did to Sarah, please note and listen very carefully, ito ay napaki-importante mga kapatid. The Lord did unto Sarah, not as Sarah wanted, the Lord did not do unto Sarah as Sarah said or because she wanted but the Lord did to Sarah as he had promised and Sarah conceived and bore Abraham a son in his old age at the time of which God had spoken to him so kita natin tatlong beses minention dito mga kapatid that the Lord visited Sarah bakit? Dahil sinabi niya, as he had said. Dahil sinabi ng Panginoon na bibisitahin niya si Sarah, that wa, that's why it uh, come to pass. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he had also promised. And bore Abraham a son at the time of which God had also spoken to Abraham. So, Kita natin yung pangako ng Diyos at uh, nag-move nag ang Panginoon according din sa kanyang sinabi sa salita. Napakalinaw dito mga kapatid that God only does what He said. That means, um, hindi sa bawat pagkakataon na meron tayong panalangin or meron tayong prayer request mean that they would be answered. That's why siguro madaming tao also feel the dismay or disappointment of their prayers not being answered is because their request or the prayer itself is not in accordance to God's will and scripture. That is why sometimes ang ating mga panalangin uh, become weak because they are not filled with what God had said in the Bible. Rather, it is filled with a lot of um, selfish motives or self-centered intentions of human beings. Finding God, searching for His Word, and His promises, and praying, mga kapatid, come in a package. They come hand in hand. So, mga kapatid, let us all be urged to walk in partnership with the Holy Spirit to find the promises of God in the Scripture. Um, ang mga salita ng Diyos ay buhay. They are life to those who find them. At uh, tunay nga na God is our only hope. And that we can only find hope in God. And sa mga salita niya, nandoon din ang pag-asa. At uh, ika nga sa salita ng Diyos, sa mga taong naghahanap, yun lamang din ang makakatagpo bilang resulta ng kanilang paghahangad na talagang makilala at malaman ang salita ng Diyos. Dahil sa Biblia, sinasabi dito, the law, the law of God says is that when you seek God with all your heart, you will find Him. That is in Jeremiah chapter 29 verses, uh, verses 12 to 14, mga kapatid, you can read. God had said, then you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. I will be found by you, declares the Lord. So, ano ang assignment, ang unang assignment para sa ating mga mananampalataya is to call on God to come and pray to Him. And He will respond. He will listen to us. You, so you and I, mga kapatid, will seek Him. You will seek me 
and find me when you seek me with all your heart. So, ang katagpuan sa Diyos, mga kapatid, at ng kanyang mga pangako, ay hindi para sa mga tao ng Diyos lamang. Finding is not even for those who are already in the ministry. Ang tunay na katagpuan sa Diyos at ang kasagutan sa ating mga panalangin o ang kanyang mga pangako ay para sa mga naghahanap with all their hearts. If you seek, you will find. In lamang po mga kapatid, may the love and peace of God be with all of us. And uh, good night everyone. God bless po sa ating lahat.